What's up everybody? It's your boy Steve G. I'm gonna do a quick and dirty review today. Keep it really short, really to the point. Highlight some uh, good aspects of this new shoe. Today I am going to review the Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo. Now you will notice I didn't say Air. I said Zoom. And that is because there is no, to my knowledge, there's no air in this thing. But what they did do was infuse it with the Zoom X foam. Uh, that Zoom X foam you might remember was on the uh, the shoe that was uh, being used to see if Nike could help an athlete break uh, two hours in a marathon. Um, they've rolled that out into two models: the Vaporfly 4% and then the Zoom Vapor. So into the shoe, quick and dirty. It's got a lot of the same markings in terms of the style. You see that peak on the back of the heel. That's to promote forward movement if you're a heel striker. Um, if you're a midfoot, you're still going to get something good out of this. Uh, the shoe is super, super soft. It uses a combination of the Zoom X foam directly against the foot and then react on the bottom closer to the ground. So the midsole tooling is Zoom X and React. The Zoom X you can see right away, it is super duper soft. I don't know how they made a whole shoe out of this stuff, to tell you the truth, because it's almost so soft that you need a little structure. So to show you what I did, I removed the insole out of the shoe, the, the insole that it came with, that sort of ortho light green. I didn't do that because it has some uh, motorcycle action. When I took the insole out of the shoe because the ride was just too soft, way almost kind of mushy with that previous insole in, I have a custom molded, hard um, heat molded New Balance insole. Now this one didn't come with a shoe. This one was one of their custom molded insoles that that's all you do. You buy the insole, it molds to your foot. You can put it in any shoe you'd like. So that gave this shoe some uh, stability in terms of that super soft mushiness gave it a little bit of disbursement for my foot because uh, I like cushioning I love boost and all those things but if the ride is a little too mushy I can't get out of the shoe I feel like I'm the ride is super cushiony and that heel strike actually promotes the forward movement it does not have the plate inside of it Zoom Fly and then the Zoom Vapor Fly 4% and Elite all have a plate that is pre curved for some nice pop in the toe off. This one is a Pegasus, very similar to the Air Zoom Pegasus 35, but it was infused with Zoom X technology. So that's why this one differs. I do like the racing stripe. It kind of alludes back to the design of an older model uh, of Zoom called the Zoom Miler back in, uh, you know, maybe 98, 99, 2000, 2001 even. Uh, the Zoom Miler was a dope shoe. Uh, and they brought that look back with that racing stripe. That's dope. Um, all of the, you know, the Zoom Flies the, and especially the Vapors. Vapor Street, Vapor Fly. Those all have the Nike swoosh coming down into the midsole stylistically. Um, you can see again there, foot profile, that peaked heel. As I said before, I don't believe there's any air in this shoe. Uh, it's all the Zoom X technology. It, I, it rained a little bit earlier today. Traction and on wet ground was a little bit iffy. Um, other than that, I'm about 13 miles into this shoe. Uh, in terms of jogging, walking, little minor plyos right now. I love it. The upper is all this sort of uh, really hyper mesh. It's like a plastic mesh overlay with the fly wire and then just a little sock liner underneath underlying against your foot. There's very little structure to the shoe if that's something you're looking for. Uh, you might want to avoid but if you kind of want that free floating foot aspect 
and some good lockdown with the fly wire. I think you'll be in business with this one. I like mine, and again, I'm an Adidas guy always. So that is the Nike Zoom Pegasus. The turbo being the Zoom X phone. Peace. We'll be back at you with another review, quick and dirty, very soon. All right.